Right, as you see, I'm put blue painters tape back on, and I'm going to ask for zero bed temperature. Now I've changed the settings of what I'm going to print to 100% because I'll be wanting them to print out stronger anyway. I'm hoping this is going to work. I've just put that down the blue painters tape. I haven't sanded it. I haven't put any isopropyl alcohol on it to clean it off or anything like that. Just as it is. And I'm going to ask it to print out the 20 tooth belt drive pinion gear. I'll come back when it's finished doing all the auto leveling and everything else. Right, it's just about starting to print now. Hopefully anyway. Let's see the shadow here. I'm just putting a clip on the filament to see if I can see it, if it's moving in or not. I have have an awful lot of problems with this filament feeder. It is feeding, I think. My shadow's getting in the way there, sorry about that. But I could check that feeder. So I'm printing PLA 1.75, although it is actually measured at 1.70. The bed is set to zero degrees, no temperature on the bed at all. Nozzle is set to 200, it's an E3D version 6.4 nozzle. Blue painter's tape, no treatment to the surface of the blue painter's tape at all, just stuck to this aluminium bed. That's it basically. Now this print, I am asking for 100% on this print by the way, in fill. So it's going to take a lot longer than the previous print. That took about half an hour, I think on 20%, something like that. This is talking about taking one and a half hours nearly enough. One hour, 20 minutes cover says that that's been sliced in cover and then stored on an SD card which is plugged into my LCD 128 64 control display unit. So I'm just trying to give you what's the technical specs there. Now as so long as the feeding mechanism keeps on working this might go fine. I don't know how well this is going to stick if it's going to come off, how easy it is going to come off at the end. Because I've had an awful lot of problems with blue paint this tape, but that has been on a heated bed. Is that the stick? But far, far too well. I've had to whack them with a hammer. And then it's been even problematic that they've been sticking far too well on blue paint this tape when the bed has been heated. But here, the bed is set to zero degrees. It is actually at about 18 degrees centigrade. It's quite low. And the nozzle is at 200. So I'll just reiterate that again. 1.75. Actually 1.70. Blue filament PLA. Written directly onto blue painter's tape with an E3D version 6 hot end 0.4 nozzle opening on that. I can't really give you many other settings. Probably just a bit bug basic in Cura. 
The only thing I changed there is a start and end code to the water levelling and such like. Well, having a rough look at this, it looks like the first layers are going down quite well. Now on Captain Tape I have known it to get right near the end, just finishing off the end layers and then come loose of, of the uh, bed of Captain Tape. So just because it's got up to this stage on this blue painter's tape, the bed temperature is 20 degrees, nozzle is 200. The bed temperature is actually set to zero, but that's sort of the ambient temperature of 20 degrees. You might actually get some heat coming from the part coming through to the, the mister on the bed actually, or just general warming up as the day moves on. But I have known a part like this come loose off captain tape right near the end as I was doing the top layers finishing off. So by the display it's been 1 hour 12 minutes, I'll make it 1 16 pm that is in the UK. It's getting needed very top now, so it should be doing a bit of a an end piece on here so to speak, it's sort of a bit of an overhang and that's to sort of make sure that the belt, because it is a belt drive system, Make sure that the belt won't slip off the edge. And it's stuck down up to now. Mind you, I have known pins get to this stage on Captain Tape and still not stopped on 
So the bed temperature is ambient temperature 20 degrees centigrade and the 200 degrees centigrade nozzle. Sorry if I missed it finishing off there, but I think the camera battery just conked out, but just caught it as it is finishing off here. So I tell the nozzle to go up, move to the left, I tell the bed to come forward, and I tell it to play some music to let me know, and there we go. Now the question is, how easy is this going to be to get off this bed? This is a, a zero temperature bed, it's about 21 ambient. Now when I've had a heated bed, it's been virtually impossible to get off parts. So let's go. Now that's come off quite easy. It has lifted a bit of the tape there. and obviously left a bit of a mark but it came off very easy as you've seen so let's have a, a look at this yes we have this final bit of ooze as it's finished off and pulled away there I'll show you the bottom surface just now all is pretty good and the position for the trap nut, nice circular hole in the middle and there's the bottom there. I quite like the texture of the blue paint here actually. I think I'd rather have this texture than the smooth captain tape. There's a bit of almost mess there on the edge. The sort of teeth for the belt that go around here seem quite well defined. The main problem here is this bit of final ooze as it's pulling away. I'm sure I've got a retraction of about 4mm on this just as it finishes off so I don't know why that's happening like that. I'll have to check the code. But that shouldn't be too hard to get removed. Yep, that's come out very well. 
The only problem there when I lifted it up, I don't know if you noticed, it did pull the tape up a little bit. So the tape wasn't, and it does feel a little bit rough, oh, there's a bit of plastic there. And that's come off, and a bit for the skirt, like ring on here. But all in all, that's okay. So that was on a zero temperature bed, blue painter's tape. No treatment to the blue painter's tape, sorry this camera is wobbling, just put on there and laid on there, no sanding, no isopropyl alcohol, nothing, just put on as it was and it's come out fine. So now I'm going to try a bigger print, which should be interesting because we'll have to see if that curls or what have you, lifts at the edges, the corners so to speak, and we'll see what happens.